Hey guys, welcome to another Reaper blog tutorial. Today I want to talk about toolbar icons. One of the users on the forum shared a set of icons, these four icons here, that will display and let you toggle the different peak modes that we have. So normal, spectral peaks, peaks and spectrogram, and spectrogram. And as you click it, they change color. It's great. Really cool. There wasn't a settings button that opens up the settings panel, like this one, uh, so I made that myself this morning, and I thought maybe that's a good thing to show you guys how to make your own custom toolbar icons, because it's pretty simple. Let's start off with looking at the toolbar icons folder that's in your Reaper resources window right here. And if you don't know how to get there, that's options menu, show Reaper resource path in explorer slash finder. It opens up this folder. We're going to have this data folder, and in here we'll, we'll have a bunch of different folders and one of them is the toolbar icons folder. In here, there's all the toolbar icons that are currently used, the ones that are shared across all themes. There are some that are included inside of a theme folder. And if they have the same name, they'll just use the theme folder instead of this folder. But if we are customizing toolbar icons, they're going to be put in here. And uh, so here's the spectrogram icon, the same one that is right here. And it just looks like this. It's a very small 90 by 30 image and it just has three panels that are essentially the same and it's up to you if you want to have different colors for that let's just grab some other random ones so this one has a transparent background let's look at this peak settings one that i made so i'll add it to this it's this normal peaks one with this cog icon added and essentially, I just added in that shape, copied it two more times, changed the color. The first panel is the unclicked icon. The middle panel is what happens when the mouse hovers over it. And the third panel is when that is active or when it is clicked. So now let's switch over to an image editing app, and we're going to create a new toolbar icon. So let's go to Pixelmator, it's just one that I use, one that I have. I'm going to make a new image. And we're going to make it 90 by 30 and resolution of 72. That's a really small window to work in. So we're just going to bring that up to about 500%. Going to add in rulers, make a new guide, vertical at 30 pixels, and another one at 60 pixels. And now we've got our three panels. If we want this to be a transparent background where it just shows the theme color behind it, uh, we'll just turn off the background layer. And now I'm going to go to the custom shapes tool. This is going to be different depending on the image editing app you're using, but essentially you just want to make a basic shape or import an image and, and really strip it down to the essentials because it's going to be this tiny 30 by 30 square inside of Reaper and it's or, I mean, it's not even 30 pixels on the toolbar, but the maximum size is 30 pixels. Anyway, so we're just going to take a shape. I'm going to use this cog shape and bring that in here and make sure that it's kind of uh, filling the rectangle, but not quite. So there's some nice transparent area around it. If it's too big, it's going to look weird in the toolbar. Uh, so just under that maximum size will look good. And just going to option drag to copy it two more times, make sure that the spacing between is right. And I think that's right. Make sure you have the right one selected. First one is white. Uh, second one will be red. And the last one, um, no, I want this color red. And the last one is green. So that's essentially done. Export this as a PNG, put it in the toolbar icons folder. So this will be, let's call this cog gear settings. We're just putting in keywords here so that we can find this with the uh, search filter. So now we're back in Reaper. We're going to customize this toolbar. Let's say we want the uh, preferences to pop up here when we're using this button. So I'm going to add. Go to preferences there, 
and we can right click on this to change the icon or we can right click on the icon in the preview down at the bottom. Just type in cog or gear or settings. And as we hover over, we can see that the colors change. I think the position is a little bit off, but I think you get the idea. I'm trying to do this pretty quickly so it's not so boring for you guys. Uh, so that icon appears there. We click it and the Reaper preferences pop up. So that's it. It's pretty simple. Um, and if you are artistically inclined, it's very simple to, uh, to build your own set of custom icons. You can also go on the Reaper stash and search for icons and you'll come up with uh, loads of different icons, including the ones that I showed you at the beginning of this video. So that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Hope this has been interesting and useful. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the Reaper blog through Patreon and visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.